Next, we come to <laughs> a story from the Daily Mail. Now, I, 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 I'm, I'm always reluctant to share Daily Mail links. I'm, I know, I'm sorry. The Daily Fail, <laughs> aka the Daily Hile. Um, <laughs> actually, 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 to be fair, we're, 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 make, we're making fun here, but it's actually a lot better than it used to be under Paul Dacre. It is. So it is, it is the, the new editor, Jordy Gregg, ha, um, at least seems to have heard of 20th century liberalism. He has. And also, um, actually, yeah, in that sense, the. the, the, the yeah, it, it, it is improving, but it's certainly not a still it's not a bastion of of uh, even centrism, never mind liberalism. Um, no, no, it, it, no, it knows its readership. It does know its readership. And it's also very popular. So who are we to 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 uh, to question Particularly it? Particularly the website which we're looking at for this story. Precisely. And actually, the reason why I'm sharing it is that this this article is a really good summary of of the of the the counterpoint, the art, the the anger. Or, or at the, the very least, the, the attempt to whip up anger against um, a very famous archaeologist, Sarah Parkak, uh, often referred to as this, the the space archaeologist, um, uh, the person who, who uses satellite imagery imagery to look at, in particular, for example, Egyptian sites, but also she's been applying her work around the world uh, in recent years. Um, came to came to lots of people's note. Uh, when she did a, a very uh, famous TED talk on her work as well, I do believe, mm -hmm. um, yes. and then she won some very notable awards as well. And anyway, the the the, the headline says it all: award-winning archaeologist gives detailed instructions on how to pull down Confederate obelisks as protesters topple racist Except statues in Birmingham and Nashville. A joke. It was tongue in cheek. If you read it, mm -hmm. it's it, it, it is a it is a commentary on the yes it's a commentary on the pulling down of controversial statues of racist and slave owning generals and so on which we can argue about separately but if you look at this in context it 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 was a the the, 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 ma the mail went looking for a story and found it it did yeah i mean so so there's a direct quote here uh psa public service announcement for anyone who might be interested in how to pull down an obelisk safely mm. from an Egyptologist who never ever in a million years thought this advice might come in handy she wrote explaining in a footnote that she was referring to any obelisk that might be masquerading as a racist monument so yes yeah, there, there was there was definitely a certain amount of tongue-in-cheek there but it's it, it it in the context of uh, earlier this month uh, we had our live stream on the Colston uh, statue being toppled and thrown into the harbour at Bristol. Um, in the context of the previous segment, um, where we mentioned our uh, our Prime Minister's speech, um, this month Boris Johnson has also been quoted as, as suggesting that um, removing statues is to lie about our history. Uh, that's another. He uh, made the same. He made he made the same reference in his in speech, the speech yesterday. And precisely. He made he uh, and he said, you know, essentially, I'm not a communist and I'm not a statue toppler. Uh, now. In Interestingly, some archaeologists have, were quick to point out, okay, you, so you're for preserving statues, but not necessarily the historic environment. But that's we've already covered that in the previous segment. Um, all of this sort of adds to a sort of a certain critical mass, uh, in particular also in, including the some sometimes controversial, particularly for people on the right side of the political spectrum, Mary Beard, for example, writing an essay called Statue Wars, where she talks about uh, how Romans treated their statuary. Um, it all adds yes. to a bit of a critical mass of archaeologists um, painting themselves into uh, Willingly or not, or right uh, into a, into a corner where um, they can be characterised as as uh, as enemies of of certain types of right wing progress, in particular, you know, a certain type of capitalism, etc. Um, yeah. How do you feel about this? Because because the because the Daily Mail headline wasn't helpful, and I'm sure no. Sarah has been has been receiving lots of colourful commentary on it this month. I, I, I'm sure she has from people sitting in their basements with their underpants in their mum's house. Um, no, I mean, or the attic. Yeah, to be fair, not all houses have the, basements. Or, or it could be, the, it, it, it could be the attic. Yeah, yeah. The attic, we, don't, we don't, we don't want to, um, want to discriminate. No, no, no. <laughs> and, 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 and there may be some women trolls as well. Mm. Um, no, it, look, it was done tongue in cheek. She clearly supports the removal of. Uh, the statues of racists and slave owners and so on, as do many, many other people. And in mm -hmm. fact, push comes to shove, I think I would probably join in that. I, th I think 
that if there's a general consensus that uh, in an active in an activist community that something is not right about a particular monument being on display to a particular person, um, I think in some in some cases, not all. You know, I, I don't believe, for example, that the statue of Churchill should be toppled. I think Churchill should be seen in context mm-hmm. through better education, and I know we're going to be talking about that in a minute, mm-hmm. but there is a justification <clears throat> that, you know, that uh, as, I, as I said during the live stream, I, I would normally have been horrified by the destruction of a grade two monument like the Colston statue, but actually looking at the context of that action in the context of Bristol, which is a city I know well and love, um, and the the darkness of some of the history of that city, uh, it felt to me like a cathartic and cleansing moment and one that was necessary yeah. and one that is now being moved on from, not helped by the um, government trying very hard to, uh, pr- uh, to, to, to direct the police into taking it um, uh, taking it to the furthest extent of the law. Um, no, you're quite right. So, although, although I, one thing I would add, though, is that, is that it's not just about uh, the opinions of activist communities. I, I, I would argue this is actually about the opinions of society at large as well. Well, in so, mu- in so much as I think more broadly, at any given time, society is allowed to reassess what it is that, 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 they, that they put on plinths. And I mean, again, we've touched we've touched on this on the, in the live stream. Uh, incidentally, the live stream had some hilarious comments. One person said, um, uh, uh, f- "No, um, uh, but, but progressives. I don't subscribe to progressives." And left, uh, even though we, we were, there was nothing really. How how, how 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 you have to ask if some if, if someone's able to leave a, 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 a quote about you know I, I don't subscribe to progressives. How long have they actually been subscribing to the channel? And had they actually watched any of the videos? Well, I don't know. You see, the, the weird thing is, is this, this, <laughs> so, so this conversation actually was was the title was very deliberately. Let's just discuss it. It wasn't actually trying to, but the, uh, and we were putting it into a historical context. But also the other thing as well, this user, yeah, this, user this username was I love archaeology and history. <laughs> so, so you, did... you know what? I think I, I, I think we should rename this month's watching brief Wokeching brief. Wokeching brief. Oh God, no! Don't, don't. Oh God. Yes, I see. That's the other thing as well. And and this, I just want to put this to bed as well because there are a couple of people who were saying, oh, you know, um, uh, actually, when we when you and I uh, in a, a watching brief recently talked about um the terminology anglo-saxon and whether or not it's racist yeah. uh we yeah. were accused of being woke and the thing is first of all that's not necessarily an accusation but secondly i don't strive to be woke i strive to be a sensible human being who applies yeah. good ideas reason and logic yeah. it's not it's not a it's not a it's not a fad it's not a it's not a it's not a uh, and frankly also it's not it's not a, a slightly uh unfortunate um use of the uh the was it the past participle of a word of a word to 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 something it is simply actually that 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 thinking people will think um and and so yeah i I, the reason why i'm saying this i mean sure i call me woke and in that sense i am by many definitions woke but it's it's these accusations just fall off my back like water i just don't i just don't care about them Um, and i have to actually speak Obviously, we don't want to speak for you, Mark. But I, I mean, from, from my own point of view, and, and certainly from uh, stuff that I, I've, I've done in the past and done with pipelines and so on. You know, I, I like to think that. Um, well, first of all, I'd, I, I do retain a certain, try to retain a certain journalistic objectivity. So I try and separate what and, ma- and make clear what's my opinion and what's mm-hmm. what's a story, mm-hmm. what's a news story. Um, and the other thing is that I think, well, I mean, just an equal, I, I, I like being an equal opportunities troublemaker. You know, but there is just as much crap and bullshit from people on the progressive left than there is on people on the, on the alt right. And yeah. we have to call out both. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. It's, it's, it's difficult to be an old school centrist or lefty these days. It's really hard. And well, that's his pejorative term by a lot of people on the left and the right. Um, so try, the, sen- the sensible middle ground is getting increasingly narrow and increasingly uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, 
that 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 little that little rabbit trail to one side. Um, what we've identified though in this segment is is a broader follow up and a call now in much many many more places for better education on on many of these issues. Um, and uh, uh, and well, actually, just to, just to briefly add to that that rabbit trail as well. Yesterday, someone tried to say that that, that we we were like ISIS or Mao. That was really annoying as well. Because, because, because yeah, the the the. And I, 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 the, 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 uh, the relationship between people who aren't looking to overthrow a government but are looking to change what statues in their community, versus religiously uh, driven, I, I, uh, ideologically extreme destruction of history in order to deny it ever happened, is so far mm -hmm. apart, such that I shouldn't have to explain that, but. Clearly, right. for some people, you do. But anyway, sorry. Um, and, but but this this is all in the context of education. And so we have, for example, um, uh, articles in History Act Extra, David Olasoga, um, uh, thousands of Britons opposed abolition because they owned slaves, surprisingly. Some very simple statements of history that, that need to be reaffirmed. Uh, in The Guardian, there's the headline, uh, calls grow for black history to be taught in all uh, to all English school pupils. And actually, many people, when this sort of headline is shared, for example, on the RKSU Facebook page, um, many people comment, well, actually, maybe we need to stop calling it black history. It is history, you know, or, or, or human exactly. history, as opposed to something which is mm. segmented off. Um, uh, BBC News in, in Wales, uh, Welsh black history lessons are backed by the race council chief in, the, in Wales. Uh, and also interesting uh, essays and articles from, for example, the new, places like the New Statesman, um, so it's reassessing in a very public way, in a very you know outside of the educational system way, um, with headlines, for example, uh, the history of the British Empire is not being taught. They suggest now mm -hmm. it is actually being taught, but I suppose what they're saying is that, that it's not being taught in its entirety, as opposed to mm -hmm. simply um, imagining that the Industrial Revolution popped out of nowhere that people went from cottage industry to uh, to factories with, without anything uh, fueling that in terms of human cost and the economic boom that came out of the slave trade. It, 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 exactly it's an interesting example is the um, uh, there are moves to uh, preserve such of the and repurpose some of the uh, cotton mills Yorkshire and Lancashire mm -hmm. um, which developed in the 18th and 19th century um, and, and went out of use in the latter half of the 20th century by and large. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, no historian now of, of any worth any salt whatsoever, of whatever political persuasion actually, could look at the, the growth of those buildings, the history of those buildings, and not ask, where did the raw material, the cotton, come from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, which brings you on to looking at Britain's involvement in the American Civil War, the fact that Camel, um, Jonathan Laird's of Birkenhead built the CSS Alabama, mm -hmm. the most famous armed cruiser, um, uh, commerce raider of the, of, of the Confederate Navy, yeah. and she was largely crewed by Scousers. men from Liverpool and yeah. Scousers, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and was actually sunk off, uh, off Cherbourg, the coast of France. Um, not off the coast of the United States. Yeah. You know, so that yeah, the, 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 these things that 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 civil war that was largely based on states' rights and slavery, um, you know, had an extension this side of the Atlantic. People need to know about it. Yeah. yeah. Um. And and the, it, it's yes. So it it is actually our history too. I, I I'm one of those people. And and again, I've been involved in Black History Month events. And yes, it, you know, they do have a value in. Um, perhaps highlighting these issues, and and and, uh, and actually, perhaps also sadly, in terms of uh, our audiences who have a black heritage, um, saying, yeah, actually, you're welcome to come in and take part in this subject that we care about. But personally, I, I am coming around to the view that things like that are tokenistic, and we do actually need to. I won't use the word decolonize, um, but certainly that we do need to take an in the round view of our histories. Hmm. To, co and that to include, correctly contextualise, holistically. To correctly contextualise, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Precisely. Um, and and, and, and yeah, you know, I, I think that's essential for a healthy society. If we're going to be a healthy society going forward, hmm. 
Hmm. Um, the, and I, I think it's also worth saying, um, and I was looking at this yesterday, actually, in, in the context of the um, development story that we discussed earlier, but the Policy Exchange, which is one of the um, centre-right think tanks that has been advising the government, is very popular in the government at the moment in terms of what, it's, um, what it produces, um, has also produced a History Matters project. Yes. Um, which involves right of centre historians like Andrew Roberts, but also um, people of colour, people of, uh, of black and South Asian heritage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but it has come under criticism from some historians um, for a survey that it uh, produced in the last few days um, to back up the, the project, which it is argued sets up false binaries and uh, offers sort of, um, closed questions. Like, you know, do, do, do you approve of the toppling of statues type of thing? Mm. Um, and so, you know, do you approve of the toppling of Ch Churchill statue? Nobody has proposed toppling Churchill statue apart from a very few activists. Yeah. Mm. Um, most of whom are seen as on the flaky end of the discussion, mm -hmm. it has to be said. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or have been, or, or, or have set the question up to deliberately to be provocative to get the discussion going mm. you know as if the alt-right never did that so you know it, we have to be very careful with where, where the particular parameters of this discussion come from and a set i think but also we have to be aware we have to be aware that there, you know there is no one woke view there are there are right-wing historians and they've got just as much right to be heard and argue their case as anybody else has yeah the fact that they believe that most of the time they're you know, a lot of time they're wrong is not a matter. But anyway, that's... Um... Well, and... and, and <clears throat> um, no, actually, I'm not going to get into that. I was, I was going to go into a broader <laughs> point about about the way... I'm being, that satirical. I'm being satirical. No, 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 but it's true. There, 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 is, there is something about the way in which these different political perspectives deploy uh, expertise in academia. But, I'll, but yeah. it did, yeah. But, um, I suppose... It's my, well, my, expert, my, exp my expertise is valid, yours isn't. Is the is the general way it's done? I think. Um, well, yeah. See, now, now you're making me talk about it. In so much as actually, no, that's not, I don't think I think that actually that encapsulation uh, misses something very important, and that is to say that, um, uh, and the the opinion of an expert is not necessarily important unless it is pertinent. If that makes sense. So, for example, you may well have someone say Jordan Peterson coming in and talking about something he is an expert <clears throat> and he is very eloquent but a lot an awful lot of the stuff that he that he finds himself meandering into and talking about and that's not necessarily areas that his opinion should be valued in they are they are convenient opinions for some people to say see look there's an expert who's talking about this but they're not necessarily coming from a place of fully informed expertise on that particular topic uh, I'm not saying that people on the left or or even somewhere in the middle don't do this sometimes as well, but the 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 methodology, the way that you get from one idea to an action to a to a to a conclusion following that conversation, is 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 mm -hmm. I think much more clear. The more central and the more left one goes. No, so you know, sorry, centre and centre left one goes. If one goes too far left suddenly then you're into some very weird um ideas as well this also again touches on this whole thing that it's hard to be it's hard to be you know a progressive central person it's very difficult these days to do that in a way in it's a way which isn't just attacked on basis of you know on site as it were as it were we have some very interesting um dynamics being set up at the moment in in in, in uk politics and i don't want to go too far down it's another rabbit hole but um, in terms of um, in terms of history and the treatment of history, mm -hmm. once upon a time there was a group called the Revolutionary Communist Party, and the Revolutionary Communist Party went out of existence in the 1990s because it was sued for libel by ITN News in the United in the United Kingdom for suggesting that ITN had faked a um, a, a news report about inter uh, appalling conditions in Serb internment camps in the Bosnian Civil War. Mm. Um, they were absolutely wrong, bang to rights wrong, but it, they wanted to play to an anti-imperialist agenda and they saw the NATO intervention in Bosnia as imperialist and, 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 and so on. Um, 
one member, former member of the Revolutionary Communist Party, is a person called Manira Mirza, who is now Boris Johnson's one of Boris Johnson's senior advisors, mm. and was when he was mayor of London. Mm. Um, and which, on the face of it, is quite surprising. Yeah, it is yeah. on the face of it, it's quite surprising. Yeah. But also you're seeing the same dynamic being set up between Boris Johnson and Keir Starmer, the newly elected uh, leader of the Labour Party. Starmer is a trained lawyer, a barrister, former director of public prosecutions, um, and is set up in contrast to Johnson, who had a, a sort of OK classics degree from Oxford after uh, a private education at Eton, and um, then was a gobby journalist for 20 years before he went into uh, politics as an MP and then Mayor of London and, and now Prime Minister. Mm-hmm. Um, but the dynamic that's being set up is that uh, Starmer is a slippery lawyer. Um, and, and when he's asking uh, questions to hold the government to account, he's, he's, he, he, he's being slippery and, try, and, and trying a, a barrister's gotcha moment in court. Um, uh, 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 whereas Johnson is a man of the people. Yeah. You know, these are these are you know, both completely fabricated um, backstories, mm-hmm. um, but they play to they play to the kind of agendas that certain people want to try and establish. Yeah, the optics that certain people want to try and establish. Yeah, uh, but, and we, which which is one of the reasons why we must continue to fight for reasoned reasoned conversation, evidence based yeah. um, decisions, so on and so forth, yeah. and that applies. Uh, at the moment, very much so to conversations around British history, imperialism, and and black history as well. Definitely. Very much so.